Hey everyone, welcome to another rousing edition of Bigfoot Girl Talks. I'm Amy Mercury, also known as the Bigfoot Girl, and I spend a little time uh, once each month on Quinn's channel talking about various Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Yeti, and other cryptids uh, themed movies, books, videos, what have you. So, since it's the holiday season, I thought I'd take a little break from all the Christmas madness <laughs> to talk about a little film I watched the other night called Pottersville. Now, Pottersville is ostensibly a Bigfoot Christmas movie. Right up with Bigfoot erotica, that is something you're probably only going to hear in this channel. So the plot takes place in this tiny, uh, fictitious Midwestern town known as Pottersville, which, like a lot of towns in the Midwest, most of the people there had been employed by a local factory, or in this case, uh, just the mill. They never specify what the mill produced, but most of the people in the town were employed there up until it went under a couple of years prior and was closed. Now, since then, the town has basically fallen into all but ruin and abandonment. One of the last posts of the town that seems to remain open is this tiny little general store run by our main character, known as Maynard, played by Michael Shannon, and uh, he's kind of responsible for even keeping the town still kind of treading above water. Well, one night he decides to go home and impress his wife with a nice dinner, but he walks in on her cheating on him. Whoops. And as a result, this sends him on kind of a drunken binge where he decides to dress up as a gorilla and wander drunkenly through the streets of Pottersville. And upon the next morning, he doesn't remember any of it. It's all just this vague blur as he's laying there in a, uh, you know, still slightly drunk and mostly hungover state. Uh, the reason why he chose a gorilla suit uh, is actually rather entertaining and there is kind of a point behind it, but I don't want to give it away because <laughs> it's really entertaining. And if you don't know anything about this movie prior, it's kind of surprising. Anyway, because of this, the town, the whole town, thinks that there is a Bigfoot or Sasquatch running around the town of Pottersville. And this becomes such a big deal that they end up being on the local news, uh, newscasts throughout the country start reporting on it, and it becomes a big deal. And people start touring to the little town of Pottersville to search for Bigfoot. Uh, even people in his town decide to, you know, ask, you know, Maynard, our main character, if they can put Bigfoot-themed merchandise in his store. And what ends up happening is this, this supposed Bigfoot sighting basically revitalizes this old town. So Maynard does want to tell the truth and let everybody know that, hey, I'm, there is no Bigfoot, I was just drunk. But at the same time, he sees how many people have really latched on to this legend, this, this idea, and what it's done for the town. It's given these sad people in an all but abandoned town some hope. It's revitalized their economy. So he just, for a short period of time, kind of sticks with it. He goes out dressed in the costume and makes little appearances throughout the town, and people all over Pottersville really get into it. Well, this concept becomes so popular that uh, this famous uh, TV show host for a, a, a show called Monster Finder in the story. It's one of those typical kind of, uh, you know, Ghost Finder, Monster Finder TV shows you see on TLC. But the guy's name is Brock, and he's a total pretentious douchebag. He gets sent to do his show in Pottersville to search for the Bigfoot. And that's what sets a lot of the uh, action of the story into motion. Now, I'm not going to say, like, this is, like, a great film. Um, you know, but it is cute. It's fun. Uh, one of the things I really liked about it is that it's technically a Christmas film, but it's not really in your face with the holiday thing, which I can totally appreciate. Sure, I love a good holiday movie, but it's kind of fun to just have the holiday part sometimes in the background while a lot of the other action is taking place. Um, it's really funny. It's got a terrific cast. Uh, like I've mentioned Michael Shannon, uh, you got Christina Hendricks, uh, you got Ron Perlman, you know, some really great actors in the story that are funny as can be. And, um, I guess I just kind of like the idea of, uh, that it's a Bigfoot legend. Once again, it's not, like, mean. Like, people aren't really scared of the Bigfoot so much as they're just kind of intrigued by him. 
even though he obviously doesn't exist. Um, there's lots of interesting things that happen in the story uh, that you wouldn't expect. Um, I'm going to mention right now that furries happen. You heard me, furries. But I think also another thing about the film that I really like is I think this idea of a Midwestern town that has kind of fallen apart and, you know, a, a once prospering Midwestern town uh, is something that a lot of us can really relate to. Either we grew up in that kind of environment or we passed through that sort of town or, you know, we know the concept. It's something very familiar. And the way they portray the little town of Pottersville is that it seems almost sort of stuck somewhere in time. Like, okay, they have like cell phones and other modern conveniences, but the town, uh, like everything from the houses to the little general store that our main character runs, even to some of the cars they drive, like Maynard drives like an old Volkswagen bus. But everything about it seems sort of old fashioned, almost like a Norman Rockwell painting. And I, I think um, it really, uh, if you have been through those old Midwestern towns like that, they still kind of have that old timey feel to them, but they make it so picturesque in this, while still highlighting the fact that this is a town that's kind of falling apart. Um, but okay, like I said, not like a great film, but it's a fun film. If you're looking for kind of a different holiday flick, I totally recommend Pottersville. It's on Netflix right now. You can check it out. Um, it's uh, worth a watch. And now comes a time where I remind you guys, if you like these videos, if you like this channel, make sure you smash that like button down below. Also, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and click that little bell so you get notifications every time an awesome new video comes out. And if you want to see more of me, my name is Amy Mercury. You guys can find me on Twitter at OrkGirlComic. You can also check out my comic or girl of the same name at orkgirl.com. I'll make sure all the links are put down below. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great holiday and I'll see you in the new year. Mwah!